Hello, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time for this Thursday. Um, we are wrapping up Romans chapter 9. And Paul in verse 30, where we pick up today, uh, tries, uh, attempts to um, kind of put a bow on everything that he's been talking about in, in this chapter. And admittedly some uh, very deep theological concepts and and so in verse 30 in that attempt to bring some closure to it he starts off with this question he says what does all this mean so it's obvious and evident that he is referring to everything that he has just um, expounded on and now he says okay i understand these are some difficult things. So what does this all mean? Let's see. He says, even though the Gentiles were not trying to follow God's standards, they were made right with God. And it was by faith that this took place. But the people of Israel who tried so hard to get right with God by keeping the law never succeeded. Why not? Because they were trying to get right with God by keeping the law Instead of by trusting in him, they stumbled over the great rock in their path. God warned them of this in the scriptures when he said, I am placing a stone in Jerusalem that makes people stumble, a rock that makes them fall. But anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. <clears throat> so in his attempt to make this all clear, Paul makes a distinction between uh, Gentiles and Jews, but really it's more of a distinction between believers and non-believers. Um, even to this day, there are people who think that you can simply be made right with God by following the letter of the law. A more uh, clear way of saying that is you can be made right with God by simply being a good person, by doing good things, by having good works. And Paul makes it clear that that is absolutely not the case. Why is that? Because it is impossible for us to know how much good we need to do in order to be made right with God. And at what point do we achieve that rightness? And at what point do we slip back? because of evil things that we have done. And so he said that people have tried to do this. The Jews have tried to do this. People of, of all ages, throughout all the ages, have tried to do this. And the reason that this doesn't work is that it's impossible to keep the law. So what did God do? Well, he his solution was to send the perfect one, himself in the form of Jesus, in the form of um, a man, incarnate God, uh, God in the flesh, who is perfect, who, who can keep the letter of the law, and by trusting in him, that is how you achieve this rightness with God. But this poses a problem for the Jews and for anyone who is trying to um, keep the letter of the law and thinking that that's going to make them right with God. And Paul's very clear. He says that it is Jesus that is the answer to this, but this is also, he becomes a stumbling block because people will try to be made right with God through their works, but God says that's not how it's to be done. It's to be done through Jesus. And people can't reconcile in their minds and in their hearts. You and I have trouble understanding that somebody else has done what we need to do. Jesus took our place. He, he became the, um, the, the replacement for us. He, he stepped in and became the intermediary between us and God. And that is a difficult thing for people to understand. And as scripture says, it becomes a stumbling block for many because 
we want to, and our tendency is to depend on ourselves. And God says, that's not going to work. You can't depend on yourself. You need to depend on me, depend on Jesus Christ. And that is why he calls him a stumbling block, a, a stone in Jerusalem that makes people stumble, a rock that makes them fall. But listen to these last words again. But anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. So the answer to all this is very simple. Not easy to do, but very simple. Stop trusting in yourself. Start trusting in Jesus. I, I say this all the time, that when I depend upon myself, I know exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to fall flat on my face. When I trust in God and, and allow him to work in me and through me, things always tend to work out better. You see, God's plan is so much bigger and better than ours. We think we know better, and no matter how many times we prove ourselves wrong, we still like to think that we know better. So let us all today trust in the fact that God knows best, that he has developed a plan, and we need to trust in that plan, trust in him, trust in what Jesus did for us, trust in the saving grace of Jesus and not ourselves. There is one thing we can depend on in this life, and it's not us. It's Jesus Christ. Let's pray together. Lord, we come to you today. We thank you for the words of Paul, how, how deep his words are, how meaningful his words are, and how we can look at it and, and know without a doubt that if we simply depend on you, you've got things well in hand. Help us to today, Lord, to depend upon ourselves less and to depend upon you more. Let that strengthen our faith. Let us grow in our relationship with you. Let us be closer today than we were yesterday to you. And we'll thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I pray that you'll have a uh, super day, that you will uh, trust God, lean on him, depend upon him, and let him see you through whatever you face today. Until tomorrow, as always, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.